Hey, my scrappy friends. I am bringing something to you uh, that um, it's been a long time since I've done. So I was chatting with some of my scrappy friends and we got talking about For the Love of Homemade Kits and how much we missed it and how uh, some people have been asking a little bit about it and which was funny because the day before I had actually put together a kit because I thought just for me it would be really fun to um, kind of get in my stash but also pull some new stuff that I have so I thought that I would do this little video and share with you what I am going to use and then this next month um, on Mondays, I believe Mondays, we are going to be posting um, a video. So Christina and Megan and maybe some of our other scrappy friends uh, are going to be joining along. If you would like to join along, let me know uh, via the comments section if that still works <laughs> and, um, and stuff like that. So uh, or you can always message me. Um, if you message me through YouTube, I'm not sure how long it takes for me to get that. So definitely find me in other places. Like if you can find me on Instagram, that's probably a good place to message me if you want to join or Facebook if you're, you can find me there. But anyway, so we are going to be doing a round of For the Love of Homemade get Kits. If it keeps going well and you guys enjoy it, hopefully we can keep working on them throughout the year goes um so really the premise behind this is is that we make a homemade uh recipe kit with our stash but the thing is to include lots of different stuff that you can use that are going to inspire you but also things that are also difficult so a lot of times we'll come and we'll add some things that we know we really like to use but then some other things that are kind of difficult to use so so that we're using up our stash, but we're using it with new stuff too. So definitely this is not one of those kits where you like have to not use something that you love because yeah, you're not just using old stash either. So um, usually we have a set of paper um, recipe and then we add some other stuff. So let me get through and show you kind of what I have in my kit. As you can see, I have some stuff. Here, I'm gonna move some of my other stuff off to the side so I can show you the papers and what we have for um, the requirements, I should say. I have a, like some smaller pieces that kind of go along with some of my bigger pieces. I also have made a layout with some of the stuff in my kit. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Er because I didn't know that I was gonna be doing this right away. Uh, I've already made this. I did add some stuff that wasn't in my kit. And this is one of the things that I, I guess I wanna stress is that if your kit, especially if you're getting down to the bottom, because um, if you're, you're getting down to the bottom on, of your kit and you feel like you need to add more, go ahead and do it because this is more about using your stuff, but using it in a fun way. So this is a layout that I did for with a sketch for Christina's uh, the secret not secret kit club. She had a Thursday night sketch over the and so I did this over the weekend. Okay, so let's get to it. So the recipe that we are using for the papers is a wood grain or nature theme like naturey. <laughs> Um, stripes, a floral design, which I guess is kind of nature-y, but, you know, more of a floral. Um, a colored, you could use a colored cardstock, but mostly when I think about colored, I think of, like, it's mostly one-toned or something like that. So you can play around with it. It doesn't necessarily have to be, like, a solid, solid color. You could just bring a cardstock, colored cardstock, if that's what... 
uh, floats your boat and is something that you feel like you want to use and that you will use because this is the, th the key that I have found with these kits is if you add stuff that you absolutely know you're probably not going to use or you're going to have a really hard time using um, it's not going to make you want to jump in and use this kit either so um, and then a black and white pattern so um, actually that's technically it's in my papers but not really so let's see so for my wood grain I have this piece from Authentique uh, I got in the fall time I don't know if it's from this year or not I usually no it's from 2018 so it's a really pretty wood grain it's you know it's Authentique so I probably won't use this but that is definitely nature-y so my kit is a little bit more fall flavored I guess is that is that a word that you can use when you're talking about building a kit I don't know okay so for my black and white pattern I also I have this paper from crate paper the snowflake collection uh this is called frosted so it has these like triangle pieces uh, which if you know me that's like one of my jams right so um, and then it has this on it so you can use definitely both sides I don't usually always think to match both sides I usually just match one side and then go with that and then if I decide I want to use the other side like it's free rain right um, okay so I also brought in this smaller piece oh gosh this is from last year's party collection from Crate Paper, or I should say this year, but it really will be next year. Um, I'm not sure what, what the name of the paper is. So I only have like parts of it, but I thought that having like something like this would be kind of fun. And then if maybe if I wanted to, I could use some of this and I'll show you why when we get to the embellishment part. So. I thought that it could be used for both sides. So then for my stripes paper, I added this paper from the One Canoe Two, the Willow collection. So this is newer from this fall. It's called Full of Joy and it's striped. So I've already used some of it on that other layout. But the other side has like this brown red color. So it's really pretty. But I really like the stripes, so <laughs> I'm already dug into that. Um, for I don't think I have any other, yeah, striped. Okay, so um, for the floral, let's see. I picked this paper from the Heritage Collection um, from Maggie Holmes. It's called Daughter. It's this uh, like orangey coral peachy color with that burnt like umber type color almost mustard so it's very fall like like I said this has a fall flavor to it as you can see I have used some of it on that other layout um so which is fine actually was it the other layout I might have used it for a different layout I used it already as you can see or maybe I use part of it a different time and then I just had some of it and just added it because that could have been it too so um, one of the things when you're building this it doesn't have to be a full sheet I prefer to use more full sheets than non full sheets but as you can see I have a lot of sheets that I've already cut into or I started using so this one also was from that um, on the other layout this was a full sheet and then I cut into it so I thought either both sides work this is from Felicity Jane uh, this is like an older paper but I still had this one and like I said both sides actually really work well but I picked it mostly for this one so then I also have for uh, I added this one for the, like the one colored one even though it has like bits from other stuff it's mostly one colored it's really textured and this is from uh, the beautiful chic collection
from Webster's Pages from, gosh, this is like really old paper. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what year. Oh, gosh. Like maybe 2015? Maybe? I don't know. Something like that. It's it's an older paper, but um, I thought it, it kind of works well with some of the tones that I have. This side I probably won't use because I don't really see. I mean, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I could make it work and then I also brought this in for like that florally look it's not your typical floral but uh, this one is from dear Lizzie so I only had a bit of that so that's the paper um, one of the things that we are going to be adding into the kit and I guess I can show you what I have pulled out um, doesn't mean that I'll use it all but uh, we thought it would be really fun to add either like some mixed media that we've tried ah, to do already and now I'm just making a mess. Um, so mixed media that we've used already or like we've made the page already or a layout that we've started and never finished. So now with this set, obviously it's not gonna have all the same colors and stuff the of the stuff that you've put together in your kit but that's where you know if there's something you know you've started and you kind of want to finish it this is a good place to add it so um i have this one that is a cut file and then i did a whole bunch of media on it i had that sitting around in my stash actually it's sitting around so much that it had stuff on it I also found this one that I did like gosh see like I don't even know when I did this but I stamped out some stuff over top of some media now this these colors don't really match all of them so we'll see how this if I use this one or not and you don't have to use it so you can pull something in and decide not to use it I also found this that was in my stash I thought it might be kind of fun to like cut part of this and maybe use it as a layer or something fun I made this on the weekend, so this isn't super old, but um, I probably will cover that up because I don't like I think I started it and I didn't care for it, but I thought that this would be fun to maybe add in. And then I also had this that I did, gosh, a couple of weeks, a month, a couple of months ago, something like that. Um, as you can see, some of my sequins fell, so I will probably re-put them in, but I did media and added the sequins into it, so that's why some of them didn't stick. But I thought maybe I could try to use that. So, um, okay, so for the embellishments, we have ribbon, or it could be like fabric or bows or something, but like ribbony. Um, something dimensional, a project life card, or some big uh, ephemera pieces, like the bigger ones. I know a lot of the kits now, collections now have a lot of big ones, and I don't use them very often, so I thought that that would be kind of fun to like try to add some of those to the mix, which is why one of the papers has like some card-like stuff on the back. Um, also, something with glitter, flare, uh, something florally, so like embellishments with florals on them, and then uh, some like word or phrase stickers. Uh, so that's like the embellishment type stuff. So let's go with, so I picked out some flares. I just picked some that I thought would kind of go, um, and they kind of need to be used up. Because I'm noticing some of my flares are starting to look kind of funky. So, I don't think flares are really a big thing anymore. But, you know, I have some. So, for something with glitter, I pulled this out because I had used some of this in my December daily. But I think I probably won't use all of it. So, uh, it would be kind of fun to maybe do something on my layout with this. So that ended up, because let me tell you, I had a hard time finding embellishments that had glittery stuff. I'm not really sure how that happened. Okay, so let's see. I have a ton of embellishments because I just like embellishments. So I um, have these from, these are not color cast. <laughs> these are actually from Felicity Jane. They're like, uh, you know. 
I don't want to say acetate because that's not what they are, but they're like the rubber charms. So some of the colors will go. Um, then I have this. This is my ribbon component. Thought that might be kind of fun to like use some of that. Um, I also pulled these little clips. Who knows? Because they're kind of dimensional. So I also have these from the Willow Collection. So I thought these are dimensional or even like these little clips here. Uh, this is something glittery. So nice and glittery. And dimensional too, by the way. <laughs> uh, I found these from the Say Lovey collection because I had, I think I had two packs of these uh, wood grain foam thingies, but they have glitter in them and they're really fun. I also pulled some of these floral pieces from a click kit that I had. They're kind of dimensional. I thought maybe I could make them work. I don't know. Um, and if I don't end up using it, I don't end up using it, and that's cool. It just goes back in my stash. So I also had these wood buttons from the Twilight Collection. I pulled these out because some, some of them have some colors that maybe I can use with the willow. I don't know. We'll see. So I also pulled out some pieces from the open book. I think I'm just going to add these in with what I have because there's a lot of like florally pieces and some bigger pieces that like I have not really used all I haven't used all of these this kit had such this collection had such a big uh ephemera pack that I thought it'd be kind of fun to pull it out and maybe use it and see if I can get it to match with like the heritage collection so but I also have this piece that has some floral on it and this one I don't know if it'll work but we'll see I pulled out some other florally pieces from some ephemera packs from some of the older ones from Aggie Homes. So there's some vellum pieces and then there, I picked this because it had glitter on it. So, and then this one has floral, but it's kind of big too. So I picked some of those, uh, then I picked this for like that florally aspect. I thought that might kind of be fun to layer with if I'm using some flowers. So these are some pieces that I picked for the big element. We'll see how those end up working in their way in there. And then I just picked out some puffy stickers for more dimensional type stuff. These are chipboard. I thought some of the colors that might be able to work, get to work with the other collection. They might not, <laughs> and that's okay. Oh yeah, I also picked these from Maggie Holmes too, as far as dimensional. I just have a few of them, so we'll see. Sometimes I feel like I add like so much that it's such a huge kit, but I also put these goldenrod stickers because they have some of these, and but they also have some of these other ones, and I think the colors will go well. And then I picked some Ellie Studios. These are Pretty Little Studio, um, Ashley Horton Bohemian Dreams word stickers. So as you can see, I've only used a couple of those. And then I picked out some of the Maggie Holmes ones that I had that are black and white. I thought the cream would go really well because they're using a little bit more cream-like stuff in some of the collections again. So it's a good place to use it so it doesn't look so odd, right? <laughs> um, okay, and I think that's pretty much all of the embellishment -y things. It's a lot. I actually don't usually add this much, but uh, like normal, I go crazy on something. And so that's kind of what I went crazy on. So we also like to add some kind of mixed media component to the kits. And so, uh, we, I decided, I shouldn't say we, I said, why don't we use like foil flakes or glitter? <laughs> because I was trying to think of something that other people might have, uh, more accessible. So to go with that glitter theme, we are using like chunky glitters or some kind of glitter aspect. So I have some, uh, rose gold foil flakes. I'm going to see if I can use that, but I also pulled out these like big mica 
uh, glitter and this is just like a chunky glitter. So these are Vicki Wooten and that's Heidi Swap. So those are super fun. And then the last thing is Elsa's. I have a lot, guys. Um, because I, so this is what I, I suggested maybe for the Elfas is using, um, an Elfa that is, matches your kit. So matches some of the colors from one of the pattern papers or, or picking, um, an Elfa that goes like is actually from one of the collections. I don't know if I have any that go with it. Like, I don't think I'll use these probably for that. I'll probably use them for something else. So since this is already glittery. So I believe these are from a different Maggie Holmes collection. I have no idea which ones, but I really love them. So they're going in there. They might not be. They could actually be from Dear Lizzie. I don't know. So I have these gold glittery ones. I think it'll kind of go with all the glitter. Um, I picked these ones. This is not even a full sheet. So neither one of these are full. Um, which probably means that I'll have to go into my stash and I'm okay with that. Like adding alphas is really actually not that big of a deal, but I also added these cause I thought the wood grain would go really well with just that fall theme. And these are from, they're the patio party ones. I have no idea what these are from. Maybe, um, the Jan Hatfield collection, maybe, I don't know. So, I'm not really sure. They could go along with Twilight too, though. But I'm guessing they probably don't. So that is my kit, guys. <laughs> so be on the lookout later um, on Mondays. We will be posting our layouts um, that we make. So e each week we'll post the layout that we made with our kit. So, um, and I will make sure that I link all the other ladies below who have shared their kits. Um, and then I will make sure that I, um, when we do the videos, that I'll link the other ladies who have also did their layouts that week too. Um, it might just be like their channel if they don't have their video done. Because sometimes we um, end up not having all the links ready like way ahead of time. But especially since we're doing it once a week. But I will make sure that you guys can see all the other ladies that are participating. Like I said, if you would like to join in for the Love of Homemade Kits, I guess, are we calling this round, like round two, like take two? Take two. I like take two. Um, if you would like to join us, let me know or let one of the other ladies know and we can try to like set up a uh, like a messenger group or something so that because we share our recipe kit ahead of time we can usually talk about it just so that we kind of all have an opinion of what we want to add so um, and I will see you guys later I hope that you guys make a kit if you guys make a kit share your kit if you made a kit for a different kit stash and want to use that and in correlation and share that with us we would love to see that too so we are all about just using your stash up because we all probably have way so much stash. I know I do. <laughs> See you guys later.